Hi there, it's Sam from poodles.co.uk. Thank you very much for joining me today. And thank you for joining me in Poodles Advent Countdown. 25 projects coming out to you five a week for five weeks. And this is today's project. It's a rather lovely card. I'm a bit of a fan of doing lots of stamping in the background. Uh, I'm using the um, To Every Season stamp set. Now this is the one which obviously kind of covers all seasons. And it comes, you can get four punches to go with it. So you can get it as a bundle or you can get it as individuals. So there's a bat, there's a snowflake, um, a leaf and a heart. And actually the snowflake I have turned into flowers. If you saw my blog hop, uh, tutorial bundle blog hop project oh, a couple of weeks ago now, I turned that into flowers. But actually I'm going to use it as snowflakes today. Right, super easy card to make. Take a piece of cardstock, cut it in half and score it in half. This one's blueberry bushel. This one, I actually don't remember the colours. I'm going to say melon mambo here, blushing bride there and flirty flamingo. But actually, I'm just going to take two colours this time. So uh, blueberry bushel, cut it in half, score it in half. And then you need a panel to go over the front, depending on whether you work in metric or imperial. If you're metric, half a centimetre shorter and narrower. If you're imperial, quarter of an inch. Then this panel here that's going to go over the top, this is three centimetres shorter and narrower, shorter, <laughs> shorter and narrower -er than um, the card blank. So inch and a quarter. And then this one's a further half centimetre shorter and narrower. OK, so let's do the stamping. So I don't need that one and I don't need that one, but I do need these two. OK, so um, shall I go for Let It Snow this time? I think so. I went for Merry Christmas before, so I'm going to go let it snow. So I'm going to get that in the middle first. Lovely photo pull on the stamp. Easy peasy, see where you're going. And then blueberry bushel. And straight in the middle. I'm going to line up my cardstock on grid paper just really so I'm not completely wibbly. Because, you know, wibbly never very good. And then I'm going to go with this stamp. there and then I want three colours I want three gradients of the same colour and bear with me because I'm gonna get this so this is my scratch pad actually this is for the stamp apparatus but I use it kind of like a scratch pad it was just off to one side so I'm going to what I'm going to be doing so I want a second generation. So if you stamp once, oops, think it up properly, stamp once and then stamp off, you get a paler colour. So I'm stamping off before coming back in. And then this one, the smallest, I'm not sure what it's going to look like. Triple coloured, yeah, we're okay. And there, very cute. So I'm going to give that a quick clean. <clears throat> Have my stamping scrub over there. And I'm going to get a scrap. I don't need that for the moment. Let's get a scrap of Wisp White. Because I want three snowflakes in Seaside Spray. I wanted to call that Seaside Foam. <laughs> it's not. It's soft sea foam. And then three of those out with the punch so you could do this card with hearts over it bats um what's the other one leaves and you can make it sort of any season because we've got two sizes three sizes of leaf three snowflakes three hearts three bats so you can do the same kind of thing but i'm just going with different colors let's put those over there and then bringing in these are my noble peacock rhinestones I'm going to put one in the center of each I keep mine in clear mount cases in fact I keep all my embellishments in a clear mount case then I know where they are not lost right let's scoot those over to one side and then I'm going to come back in now I did oh no not that one this one I did go tone on tone before but I'm going to have a look I'm going to stick it on the back in the middle Ooh, is that going to be too dark hmm let's 
clean that up and bring in this one. Yep. This one. And all you do is you just go round the outside. Start off round the outside and then I'm going to line up my piece, my other piece of soft seaside. Soft seaside! <laughs> Seaside, see, I still want to call it seaside foam. Seaside spray. <laughs> I'm going to line that up and see if I need to come around anywhere else. Nope, I think we're good. So let's scooch those out of the way. Right, where's my snap? Look, I wanted to do the scratch pad and I've still trashed the piece of cardstock anyway. Piece of grid paper. Onto there, where's my card blank? That in there. Maybe they're just chattering away to themselves when they're filming. Or when they're crafting, I should say, not necessarily when they're filming. That onto there. Right, now what I want to do now, there's my three snowflakes, and I've got my silver metallic thread. And I'm going to wrap it around four fingers, loads of times, and then I'm going to drop it to three. Oops, my fourth one. <laughs> it came off. Okay, so I've just got a big old bunch of it there. <clears throat> a little bit of glue. I don't know if you can see that. That's not very much there at all. I had it there. There we go. That's my glue, and I'm going to stick it on, and then I'm going to get hold of it and twist it to make a sort of figure of eight kind of look. That bit doesn't want to stick down. There we go. Nick off that little end. And then these three mini glue dots on the back. Oh, I've got a new packet of mini glue dots. It makes me very happy. One slap bang in the middle to cover up the glue. Then another. And the third one. Oh, where do I want that? There a bit, I think. And that is in less than eight minutes. Rather charming. I like the pink. I do have fun doing pink Christmas. Anyway, what do you think? I hope you like it. I can't believe I have my scratch pad and I still managed to wreck this piece of grid paper. Oh well. Anyway, thank you ever so much for joining me. Hope to speak to you soon. Bye.